The video you are about to watch contains strong language, so viewer discretion is highly advised. It is also recommended that if you are watching, to use headphones for the best sound experience. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. High Roller here once again, bringing you some more Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, and what do you know? Like, literally every fucking time. <sighs> when I ended yesterday's video, I was like right here, roughly. And lo and fucking behold, I have to go all the way around again. <laughs> It took me so fucking long to get over there, too. Because I literally had shit, like, shooting at me. There's a Ford over there. And in that surrounding area, there's a shitload of fucking Man of War ships. It's just fucking hectic, man. It's a pain in the ass. Ever a splinter. Sequence number 12. You know, just recording for 25 minutes and haven't made any fucking progress yet. You know how it is. I'm gonna be what cutting all this shit out so you don't have to see all the nonsense. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence you cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like if there was a drought and people was thirsty. And one man had a large cask of water, but gave a sip to none. He'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. All right. Where's it going? Is she coming with us? Didn't think so. Fuck it. Oh, I guess she is coming with us. Ah, uh, she's over there just fucking about. They're going through killing all the Mayans. Not that we're much better, because we did the same fucking thing when we were here with, uh, Robert's last. Now they're torching the place. Here we go. Stand watch here, and let none follow. Oh, shit. I cannot fuck up here. Holy fuck. Jesus. Bye bye. <laughs> Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you writes a far greater wrong than ever I did. Do you honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. 
Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's Folly! It's a wall to sue to kill her. Can't win it. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. Caroline's dead. She was ill. But he has a daughter. I do remember that much. Are you fucking kidding me? I wish I could explain all this strangeness, but there isn't much time. The short of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. For a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Claire! Claire! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. He's Hello? never talked. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> there you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around. What are we? Just a robot? A doctor came by. Are we a fucking Zuckerberg you. drone? That the liquid in the syringe <laughs> was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. Yeah, I'm sure you about do. Everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? No. I owe you that much. I don't care. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. Oh, thank God. I don't have to I watch it. Love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. Who the fuck are you looking at? Take care. That eye and tracking's again. all fucked up. Let me go back to my animus, In please. World, we're... I don't care. 
Return to your animus. Look at all these little figurines we got. We don't have all of them though. Don't care. <laughs> oh, fuck me running. Great Iguana, October of 1722. He's almost 30. Find it here. It will work for us. But he's 29 years old here. Scatter our operations to live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben La had once counseled. Well, until that time. It's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. <laughs> Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. My mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! Uh oh. <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too. Oh, man. Uh-oh. I should probably mute this. It's going to be copywritten. The YouTube police is going to fuck my video in the ass. Every single one of them are dead. What, is he going to meet his daughter or something for the first time? I guess so. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think she grows up to be a pirate too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh! Fuck me. Where the fuck are we going? Um... I'm confused. Am I playing the credits? <laughs> Jesus. Um, can I do something right quick? I'm just kind of curious. All right, that's better. <laughs> Camera's off. I don't know. I think I'd have to play around with it. I don't know if uh, this song is copywritten or what, but usually, like, during the credits, I cut all the music out and I put my own in. So, I don't know. I guess I could take a chance and try to upload this, but if you guys don't see this video, then, well, you'll know what happened. Uh... Other than that, I guess we're done with the game. I, I have, 
No idea. The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. Not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship. That's true. But not for a lark. To support us. To take care of her. And you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year, and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier... I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but... That wouldn't have mattered. Can I steal your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small. But for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then... she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Uh, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Your Tell dad. You what, as soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick of the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> Oh shit, here we go. This is the, uh, the fucking, um... The moment that, uh, Haytham was talking about. How his father took him to see the play once or something. There's Edward. Older. <clears throat> Caroline, all grown up. Miss Jennifer Kenway. May I introduce myself? No. Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry. I... I... Uh, my daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, uh, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. And there's Haytham. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haytham? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate at White's. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. Hmm. <laughs> And there we go. So, I'm not going to go ahead and do the outro yet. I'm going to let you guys enjoy, like, the, uh, the fucking credit roll for, like, 30 to 35, maybe even 40. 
40 fucking hours. I don't know. <laughs> because th these goddamn credit rolls are fucking ridiculously long, as uh, I'm sure that some of you may know from watching the other series. So, yeah, just uh, try to have fun. Uh, honestly, you might just want to skip to the end of this video. <laughs> That's what I would fucking do. Oh, we have a, a skip cinematic option. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it, right? Am I right? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Shit the bed wide awake, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. I'm worn out after that. <laughs> it's mostly just the fucking around in the beginning. Like, the first 25 minutes of this video, like, I've been recording for about an hour 31... Yeah, hour 31 minutes. And, uh, it's mostly just the fucking around in the beginning, you know? Um, other than that, like, as far as content goes and everything, I wasn't expecting to be able to skip the cinematics, you know? So that's completely new there on that front. Unless I just never tried. I, I don't fucking know. But that's the first time I ever saw an option to skip the cinematics on uh, any of these series that I've played. And uh, as far as the next game in this lineup goes, I'm not entirely sure if I want to play Unity or Rogue because um, Assassin's Creed Unity, Rogue... Three and Black Flag are kind of like, you know, they all revolve around each other. So, if you're going to play the events in order, I think it would be four. So, okay, it would be Black Flag, Rogue, three... And then Unity, but I think 3 and Unity are taking place at kind of like the same time. But after the events of Edward, you play as Shay Cormac in Rogue, which is a Templar, and you track down Adewale, and I think... Um, fuck, what was that guy's name? Connor's uh, mentor. But anyway, him. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I should play Rogue next or if I should play Unity. Unity's going to be fun. Um, Rogue, I'm not really looking forward to. It's same gameplay mechanics. It's like playing a giant DLC of four, if I'm not mistaken. It's like... Playing a DLC that could be either the first half on three and then the second half on four. I don't fucking know. It, it, it's all over the place, guys. But um, anyway, I am ending today's video here. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well as this video series. And if you did, you can show your appreciation by hitting that like button. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment in the comment section down below because I enjoy reading your guys' feedback. It's always nice to have a conversation once in a while. And if you haven't already or you're brand new to my channel and the content that I make, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell with all notifications turned on because if not, everything that I upload on this channel, you're never going to see it. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, until the next video and until the next video series, please stay tuned and peace out.